for the first time unveiling that we will shut down is in a very different area. Shows you how pervasive this is. This isn't just the stuff you'll hear about on cable news on a given night, right? The FBI and the Department of Education get their share of heat, but the same principle applies to agencies you may not have even heard of, but that affect the way we live our lives and affect our economy in this country. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission. This is an agency that quietly is the single wet blanket, the damper, on the revival of nuclear energy in the United States of America. I want to give you a sense of what they're doing today. It's a regulator through licensing for new plants, for waste collection, for regulation and oversight. That's a wet blanket on any innovation in this country. Since its inception, actually I should start with prior to its inception, it took about three to four years to build a new nuclear power plant in the United States. Turns out it takes about three to four years to build a new nuclear power plant in Japan right now. Takes about five to eight years in France. Maybe a little slower in France versus Japan, but still, <laughs> still not that different. Today, after the existence of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, it now takes 32 steps for a development process that is 25 to 40 years. And that is why there has not been a single new nuclear plant built in this country in the last 30 years. There has not been a new nuclear power plant's plan that has made it through this 32-step process since this organization ever came to exist. And then that's in the name of protecting our safety interests. Right? Because nuclear energy is it's the best-known form of carbon-free energy production known to mankind. Personally, I favor drilling, fracking, burning coal, but I also believe we need to lead in the way of nuclear energy. But they say, isn't there this risk? Well, it turns out not only is it dampening innovation, it is also worsening our safety risks. How is that? Because it takes now 25 to 40 years here to get a new nuclear power plant approved, that's a long time. Over those 25 to 40 years, we've moved from Gen 2, which is a slightly less safe old form of nuclear reactor, to Generation 3. And yet, other countries are leading the way on Generation 3, but we haven't been able to get one through our own process. And then after Generation 3 has now come Generation 4, there's only one country in the world that has a Generation 4 nuclear reactor. Anybody want to guess which one it is? This is an educated audience. <laughs> Absolutely, it is China. And that actually endangers our competitiveness and our security when China's leading the way on the single greatest form of energy production known to mankind to secure our energy needs. So that is why today we're unveiling our reality that I cannot make the false promise of shutting, of reforming that agency and its culture, right? The culture of this agency, the bureaucracy. I could put a different figurehead on top. That's good optics. Might earn me some votes. But it's not going to fix the problem when the culture of the agency itself is hostile to the existence of nuclear energy in the United States of America. But what I can do is shut it down. End and dismantle that hostile culture. And then we move a certain number, limited number of functions to the other parts of the Department of Energy, the EPA, the DHS, and FEMA, which God forbids ever needed. That's actually what they call the events and security section. Never been used in the NRC in the United States and hopefully will never be used under, under FEMA where it sits. Are these bureaucracies perfect? They are not. And believe me, what you're seeing today is just chapter one of a much longer rollout. But what I wanted to share with you today is the practical reality that not only will we restore the essence of our constitutional republic, three branches of government that are actually accountable to the people, but this is also the single most promising way to unlock our American economy again in this country. You want to know what the impediment is to economic growth today? It is the assault on American energy. Drilling, fracking, burning coal, embracing nuclear. You can't do any of these things without regulatory intervention.